Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Ultimat. I'm Ultima Mantoid. Apologies for the air conditioner. I'm doing the previous couple in a batch, so I can just have them, you know, done, schedule uploads anyway. I'm sure you all know and understand. But apologize for the air conditioner. It's hot. I don't want to die of heat. So, with that, today's review is something I found. I was like, what? So, Little Debbie's at it again, experimenting, and I already opened the box just so I didn't have to do it on camera, but we have Zebra plus Nutty Bars. It's like, you ever seen their the Little Debbie Zebra Cakes and you ever seen their Peanut Bars? Yeah, it's like somebody decided, let's just smoosh the two together and see what happens. So, I mean, like the box art, you get the elephant for the peanuts, and you get the zebra, and they're like... Oh, buddy, buddy, I thought it was really cute. You know, it's definitely going to grab uh, some kid's eye, and they're going to be like, I want, I want cute. And, they're, and you know, the, the mom is either going to be like, no, or they're going to be like, well, okay, honey. Um, on the side of the box, this is the side I open. It says over here, uh, wafers with peanut butter. So if you are allergic to peanut butter, it probably is not a good idea to try this product. Um... The back of it, yeah, so like, I mean, back here it's got your expiration date and just, you know, our family promise quality, freshness, and taste. Like right there, you can see it. Um, let's see. Nutrition facts. Serving size is one cookie. As it says right back here. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to try and get it in the camera view where I can still see it. Yeah, right there. Serving size, one cookie. Um, as you go down, there's what it says. Uh, it's got some... Not a whole lot of sugar. It does have a little bit of sodium in it, though. So, overall, they're not terribly bad. I mean, the fat is there. But uh, your ingredients are up here. So... Sugar, dextrose, whatever that is, enriched flour, you know, name a couple of things. And here it does give you an allergy warning. Contains wheat, peanuts, soy milk, egg, may also be present in this product, tree nuts. So if you have allergies to any of those, they put it on the box not, you know, to, to stay away from the product if you have allergies to any of those. Um, there's not anything else I really want to point out. On the box, um, yeah. So let's dive in and try one of these. This is where I open the box. So let's see how these work out. Ten bars. Hang on. Weird. One of these was in there sideways. And I didn't open this until right before I... I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Maybe I got an extra one or something? I don't know. Anyway, that's weird. Whatever. We're going to try these things out. I like how they're individually wrapped. That way, if you don't want to open... Like with the peanut bars that they have. The, the nutty nutty bars or whatever they're called. You have to. They usually come wrapped two. So you have to eat two of them when you might just want one and it kind of makes it go to waste so let's try these out this is the product i mean as you can see it's got the zebra striping um it's got the white chocolate on it so let's see how this actually turns out I'm going to be honest, it doesn't taste a whole lot different than a, um, a regular Nutty Bar. Although, the difference in the... tastes like white chocolate. But the difference, I can... I mean, there's a bit of difference. Like, this tastes like it's white chocolate. With a bit of the dark, you know, with a bit of the regular chocolate on top. Um...
It feels like the white chocolate kind of overcrowds the um, the peanut butter, actually. But I'm just going to point out, that's what it looks like on the inside. It's uh, peanut butter wafers. But I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed. Little Debbie usually has bigger, like thicker, I mean, just a little bit thicker nutty bars. But these are kind of puny. I mean, I'm used to a bit bigger product here, but... Hmm. I don't know. Something feels off about these. I mean, they taste great. Like, they taste fine, but it just feels like in all of this economy where everything gets downsized, like, I don't know. I don't know. Nothing really stands out about these. I mean, like, if you like a peanut bar, this is pretty average. I mean, if you like white chocolate better than, you know, regular chocolate, these would probably be something better for you. These are just average. It's just... I'm going to give these a three. This is not what I was expecting. I mean, I might buy more in the future, but I was kind of disappointed. Like, But I'm not going to take my dis my personal disappointment out on the product itself. Like, the flavor is great. Let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about what's good about these things. I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing off because it's melting. So, let's talk about the good about these things. Again, if you like white chocolate a little bit better than regular chocolate, this might be something of your interest. It might be something you might want to go to instead. They come individually wrapped instead of having two together in the same package. So, that's another thing. If you don't, like, if you just want one instead of two, those, something that, you know, you can pick up and just go with. Um... There's also, you know, again, peanut butter. If you're allergic to that or any of the things that it mentioned, you know, like wheat, uh, tree nuts, stay away from it. But if you like peanut butter, if it give you just enough peanut butter, I feel like maybe to be satisfied if the white chocolate doesn't override and drown out the peanut butter. Um, but the bad things is they're small. Like, they, they feel like they're kind of puny for what Little Debbie is known for, uh, at least from my memory. Um, and it's nothing that's going to, like, I mean, nothing to write home about. Like, I would just rather go grab a regular Nutty Bar. You know, that, I don't know. But it's not bad. So, like I said, it's got its perks. So, you know, it's it's not for everybody. But, again, if you like white chocolate, it's probably something you're going to want to like. Or you're probably going to like. Yeah. So, again, I'm just going to give it a three. I'm going to wrap this review up. Thank you all for watching. And if you like the video or you like the review, hit the like button. If you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. But I'd like to thank you for watching. And this has been the Ultimate. And I'll be back with more. But, until then... Have a good day, everybody.